Isaac had two sons who were twins, Esau and Jacob. Esau had been born first, and Jacob a few minutes later. Esau loved the outdoors and grew up to be a skillful hunter. But Jacob had a quiet temperament, preferring to stay at home. Isaac loved Esau because he enjoyed eating the wild game. Esau brought home from his hunting trips. But Rebecca loved Jacob. When Isaac was old, his eyesight was not good. He could not see clearly. It was time to pass the promise of blessing God gave to his father Abraham, down to his eldest son Esau. Before he died, he sent a servant to find him. Isaac said, I am old. I don't know when I might die. So take your bow and arrows and go hunting in the field. Hunt some wild game for me to eat. Prepare my favorite dish and bring it here for me to eat. Then I will bless you before I die. So Esau went out on a long hunting trip. Rebecca was listening. As Isaac said this to Esau, she wanted her favorite younger son, Jacob, to get the blessing and made a plan to trick her husband. Listen, I heard your father talking to your brother Esau. He asked him to hunt and prepare his favorite dish. Then he promised to bless Esau. I have a plan that will get you the blessing instead. Go out and bring me two young goats from our flock. I will prepare a meal the way your father likes, and he will think you are Esau and bless you instead. Jacob protested, My brother Esau is a hairy man, and I am smooth-skinned. If my father touches me, he will know I am not Esau, and curse me for trying to trick him. Rebecca had thought about this problem. She dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes. Then she took the skins of the goats and put them on Jacob's hands and neck. Now he will feel hairy to the touch. Jacob went to his father Isaac with his favorite dish and bread that Rebekah had made. I am Esau, your first son, Jacob lied. I have done what you asked. Now sit up and eat some meat I hunted for you. Then bless me. How did you find and kill the animal so quickly? Jacob asked. The Lord your God led me to find it quickly. Jacob lied. You sound like Jacob, Isaac answered. Are you really my son Esau? Jacob lied again. Yes, I am. Come near so I can touch you, Isaac asked. You know my sight is gone. But if I can feel your hands, I will know if you are really my son Esau. So Jacob came near, and Isaac held him. Your voice sounds like Jacob's, but your hands are hairy, like the hands of Esau. And when Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he was finally convinced. 
So Isaac gave his blessing to Jacob, saying, May nations serve you. May peoples bow down to you. May you be master over your brothers. May your mother's sons bow down to you. May everyone who curses you be cursed. And may everyone who blesses you be blessed. Just as Jacob left his father Isaac, Esau came in from hunting. Esau prepared his father's favorite dish and brought it to Isaac. He said, Father, rise and eat the food that your son killed for you. Then bless me. Isaac asked, Who are you? Esau replied, I am your firstborn son, Esau. Isaac trembled. Then who just brought me food before you came? I ate it. And I blessed him. It is too late now to take back my blessing. Esau immediately let out a loud and bitter cry. Bless me, father, he pleaded. But Isaac said, Your brother came and tricked me. He has taken your blessing. I gave Jacob the power to be master over you, and all his brothers will be his servants. There is nothing left to give you. Esau began to cry out loud. Do you have only one blessing, father? Isaac replied, You will live far away from the best land, far from the rain. You will live by using your sword and be a slave to your brother. But when you struggle, you will break free from him. After that, Esau hated Jacob because of what he had done. Esau thought to himself, My father will soon die, and I will be sad for him. After that I will kill Jacob. Rebekah heard about Esau's plan to kill Jacob after the passing of Isaac. So she sent Jacob away to live with her brother Laban in Haran. Stay with Laban until your brother has calmed down, she said. Then I will send a servant to bring you back. I don't want to lose both of you, my husband and my son, on the same day. Jacob successfully tricked his father to bless him. But he is now forced to leave home. And it is likely that he never saw his mother again.